far away. Ricardo will be about the last for our opener, the Bet365 handicap. Let's head to Alan Howes. Good afternoon, Alan. They're off. Racing away, six furlongs in front of them for the Bet365 handicap stakes. Mashadi was well into stride. Dapper Valley right up there as well early on. The Philly Woodhay Wonder not far behind them. Then came Trafour. More down the centre of the race course is Pilgrim together with Ron Boy Run from Chief Mancato. Then more towards the near side is Cachetan as they settled into two groups with a half a mile to go. Woodhay Wonder, she's over toward the far side leading that group from Chief Mancato and Trafour. Then City House in Blue Prince and Ingleby Ivy and then came Irish Neck to the rest towards the stand side being led by Dapper Valley just ahead then from Mashadi from Run Boy Run and Pen Portrait and then came Love Billy Boy Pilgrim still in the shake up then North View followed then by Kajitan and Gamekeepers trying to now stick through between rivals but as they head down inside the final furlong and a half is Woodhay one to the far side together with the red cap chief Mancato Dapper Valley near side and long sides Mashadi far side Trafour is sticky on as well as they go inside the final furlong it's to Philly Woodhay Wonder is out in front, pressed by Trafour. Dapper Valley near side, then Chief Mancato. But it's Woodhay Wonder, she's out in front. Woodhay Wonder to win from Trafour in second. Then came Dapper Valley and Chief Mancato, followed by Mashadi and Kachatan. It's another big win on the Roly Mile for Tom Ward's Woody Wonder in the colours of Matthew Weber and Toby Ward, ridden by Tom Mark. A little bit flighty in the preliminary, she's come home well here and always up there. Trifor has finished second, third Dapper Valley showed really bright speed today, and fourth was seven Chief Manicato. Fifth is number 13, Mashadi, just ahead of Kayatan in sixth. But the winner is Woody Wonder, 17 to 2, and is now um, accumulating a pretty impressive record. Four wins from six starts, um, and she's just very, very genuine and fast, isn't she, as well? She's obviously been helped by the fact, I think, that she's got that early speed and she's accustomed to the track already. She showed a liking for the early mile with that wide margin winning a sales race last year. Spread right across the track. Green colours near side, Dapper Valley has run a blinder, travelling really strongly at the front of the field throughout, but Wood here wonder over to the far side. She really does find a lot for pressure, and when Tom Mark one really asks her inside that last hundred yards. She finds a little bit more and stretches right away. And uh, narrowly foiled Safi Osborne, who was looking to write her eighth winner in the last seven days. Back in third was Richard Hannon's Dapper Valley. Richard Hannon, former boss of Tom Ward, who assistant to him for many years before he joined John O'Shea in Australia. And this uh, is a pretty exciting filly, I think. Yeah, she is. She's she, and, and her attitude is so good, isn't it? And we can see far side, she's always up there. So is so is Dapper Valley. Horses again that have got a little bit behind early have just struggled really to land 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 a blow on on, on of any significance on the on the race. Chief Manicato, Red Cap, Far Side follows Woodhay Wonder through. He started his season well. He was a winning debutant last year. So Charles Hills will be delighted with his pair of runners in this. He will. Are both in that little far side group. Do you draw anything into uh, the principles mainly coming from that smaller group on the Not far side, or do you just say, well, look, Dapper Valley's run really well here? I, I think it's a really even track right the way across, and I think we've seen that throughout the week that, that it has been the case and entering the final furlong Dapper Valley pretty much on terms with the far side. He has done well because I don't think it's helped him that nothing in his pack could go with him so I think you'd have to give him a little bit more credit yeah. that he's kind of done it all on his own. He definitely likes them to at least be making a print I think Dapper Valley. It was very soft ground when he won on his debut at Newbury last year. It looked a very impressive horse, maybe even a Royal Ascot horse. Went to Sandown the next time and there was a mishap that day uh, and it didn't go right was a, a, an issue I think with his tack and he went across the track so he couldn't really give his running and then the wheels came off a little bit and he ran well final time I think he's going to make up into a very nice horse he could he could do really well because he does handle softer ground than this even as well which isn't something that all horses do but uh, would here wonder she she is just very very game isn't she she really does respond well and she's shown that winning willing attitude four times now and it's been a constant theme that she's not easy to pass. Right, the wind's got up <laughs> here on the Roly Pile. It was just a suggestion that things might have calmed down a little bit, but it really has got up. And if, if this continues as it is at the moment, then we are going to be set for some rapid times. Yeah, I think we are. It's going to be 